Welcome to NoSQL series. In this video, we'll be discussing the important questions module-wise. If you're new to my channel, do check out the NoSQL playlist. I have uploaded module-wise important questions, important topics discussed each. So do check that out. And if you're new to my channel, do subscribe so that you don't miss out any of the updates further. This questions have these questions have been curated by comparing the previous year papers and the internal papers. So let's get started. We'll also discuss the passing package or the most important modules to cover from exam perspective to easily fetch 60 marks. So let's get started. First module is all about the introduction. It has few concepts of the aggregate data models and other types of data models. So first question is about uh, defining NoSQL, features of NoSQL you can uh, define here. And then uh, they have asked about aggregate data models with a neat diagram. So aggregate data models is a very important topic from exam perspective. So make sure you don't miss out this question. So there are two diagrams in this. One is for the relational model of customer order or the e-commerce website and the other one is aggregate data model and how it actually works. So this could be asked for 10 marks direct. Okay. Next we have is brief description about the value of relational databases. So we know the four relational databases, the first topic in uh, module one, right? So that is a con a concurrency, integrities, mostly standard model and all of that. So again, this could be asked for seven marks or 10 marks. It's a very easy theory topic. Then we have impedance mismatch. Impedance mismatch is again a very easy topic. Comparison between the relational data model as well as the um, uh, the NoSQL data model or the in-memory data structures, right? And there's a simple figure. So again, this could be asked for 10 marks. Next we have is application and integration databases. Again, five five points are there for application databases. What is it? Advantages, disadvantages, and uh, integration databases. What is it? Advantages and what are the challenges? Next we have attack of clusters. What are the types of attacks which were faced and what are the two solutions which we came up with scaling up, scaling down and uh, how did the Google and Amazon contribute to these solutions. So again, this is a 5-5 mark topic. So again, very easy one. Next, consequence of aggregate orientation. Again, about the aggregate data model only. Again, a very simple topic. You can just uh, write down the aggregate orient orientation part. So in notes, uh, so in description, detailed notes would be available. My handwritten notes as well as the printed notes are available. The compiled notes here, you can check out. All the five modules are available, so you can make use of this and study accordingly. Next we have is key value and document data models. So again, a very easy topic. Just define it, draw a draw figure of example and explain it. Next, column family stores. So again, all these three were discussed in the video in detail, so do check that out. Next we have explain relationship. That is third model, third topic, third chapter, first topic relationships, what are graph databases, schema-less databases, materialized views and modeling for data access. So again, all these are tiny things, just uh, five, five to eight lines of uh, paragraph, five to eight lines of points would be sufficient enough for all these. Uh, the notes has everything, do check that out. I would say that module one is the easiest among the all other modules, so don't miss this out. Going on further, second module, the second module is again a pretty easy uh, module, so it, they, they have asked about what are the distribution modules like sharding, single server, master slave, peer to peer and all those things. So we have to briefly uh, explain briefly two parts of data distribution. Again, a very easy question, uh, a direct question, I would say. Then they have asked about update consistency and read consistency with an example. So example, you, you have to write uh, what is about update consistency, that write, write scenario and then read consistency, read, write conflict about, then there's a figure about the list items, shipping items and all those things. So we have one more diagram about Martin promotes communication happening. So don't miss that out. Very easy topic. Then short note on single server com combining the sharding and replication topic. Again, a very easy one. So the, mostly they would ask five five marks uh, topics because there are they are very simple. So sim single server is very simple topic and the com combination of sharding and replication again a very simple topic. Next we have relaxing consistency along with update read. We have relaxing consistency under consistency is topic. So do check that out and CAP theorem is the most important one. Either it could be asked for five marks or it could be asked for 10 marks in, in, in itself only. So don't miss this out. Next, the second part of uh, module two is about version stamps. So version stamp, definitely there'll be a question. Different approaches of constructing version stamps. Again, a very important topic. Then we have peer to peer replication diagram, master slave replication diagram and uh, combining sharding and replication in detail they have asked. So again, you have to write it. This could be for 10 marks and here it was just a short note, so five marks. 
and then consistency all types of consistency so same questions have been repeated guys so in all these forms questions would be asked if you cover these 10 questions you'll be all done with the second module i would say then they have asked about business and system transactions version samples on multiple nodes so again a very important topic and very easy topic as well so second module and first module are pretty easy don't miss this out in any case and cover all these seven questions for first and all these 10 questions for second module moving on to third module it's all about the map reduce and the key value databases so first question is about uh, the partitioning and uh, combining in map reduce again a very easy you have a diagram just draw that diagram define it and explain the partitioning and combining come in map reduce topic next two stages of map reduce again very easy D write an example draw that diagram which is there next basic map reduce again easy one then uh, how are calculations composed in map reduce again there's a diagram draw that and explain it then what are key value stores so first four questions were about map reduce and on the other hand we have the second part of module 3 that is key value database so what are key value stores list out popular key value databases explain how data is stored in a single bucket of key value data store so again a very easy topic then what are the key value features so either this could be asked for five marks or it could be combined with any other question okay so explain with suitable use cases of key value store so these two could be clubbed together and uh, asked for 10 marks so again seven questions you cover you will be done with third module coming to fourth module this slightly uh, i won't say difficult but in detail in depth you have to understand how the document databases work because this module for comprises of only two chapters i guess so don't miss this out so i would say that module 1 2 3 are all easy passing package just if you cover these you'll get 60 marks minimum next moving for the module 4 so we have uh, scaling features in document databases with a diagram yes then uh, some example queries to use with document databases the examples you have to write it's mentioned it, it's mentioned in the notes do check that out guys I've, i'll explain this in the videos also do watch the videos completely and what is document database explain its features and example yes pretty simple list out and explain benefits of document database five mark question again very easy suitable use cases of document database when to use the document database when when not to use the document database again very easy uh, scenario based question this is so just write it down simple module 5 module 5 i would say is the difficult one out of all five modules but then uh, you cover these 12 questions you'll be all done with module five first question is about graph database different types and uh, example of graph structure again a very easy question the same thing whatever you have written in first module you can write down the same thing as introduction here along with different types you have to check out the notes for different types here and the example could be the same example next they have asked to describe the relationship in graph database again with a diagram very easy they have asked the query features and transactions of graph databases again a straight forward question next we have scaling and application level sharding of nodes with a neat diagram again you have to draw the diagram and explain these two topics so again a very easy uh, question then they have asked the use cases of graph databases discuss when should we use them and when we should not use the graph databases again similar to document databases so again a theory topic describe it properly then we have common use cases of graph databases again a very easy one then we have neo 4j graph database features and uh, yeah again this is a very easy topic uh, yes very important from exam perspective it this could be asked for 10 marks direct guys don't miss this out then uh, location based service again a important topic and uh, any one real time example of location based service it specified very easy then recommendation engine and how how does it work and uh, recommendation algorithm with, with uh, netflix how, what is the algorithm so again important question this could be asked for 10 marks because you can see that two questions have been clubbed here so it, it goes the same with the eighth question also two questions have been clubbed so 10 marks direct next we have how does a content management system work and uh, how to build a website using content management uh, system so again uh, refer the notes very easy then they have asked uh, what database to choose for analytics so again an application with a real time analytics example so a straight forward question then this 12th question is a short short question because it's about mongodb and no sql whatever we are studying is entirely related to the mongodb right so we have made use of mongodb examples also in the middle right from first module to the fifth module so definitely there could be points asked about mongodb its advantages features and all those things so make sure you don't miss out these questions i would tell that if you cover these 12 questions you will be all set with the exam and along with these questions do refer the other topics also 
I've mostly I've tried covering all the previous year papers, all the important topics in this question bank. Do check that out. And if you have any doubts, do let me know. And stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out any of the updates related to NoSQL subject and the other subjects also. Do check out the important questions or the module-wise videos also. I have curated them. Do watch that. And thank you.